In this video segment, you're going to learn a little bit more about Google Classroom. It's an online classroom that will let you interact with your classmates and with your teacher. And if you are looking at the Google site, you can go to https colon forward slash forward slash classroom dot google dot com and you'll open up a page that looks like a chalkboard and it's going to let you join the course by using this little plus sign. I can tell that I'm signed in as a student and I'm going to join the course and I'm going to use a code that my teacher gave me. It won't be this code, it'll be another one that you were given by your teacher and then you'll click on join. Something else that you might want to do while you are organizing and getting ready to use Classroom is to take the little uh, lock and pull it down onto the bookmarks tab so that when you get ready to go back in there in the future you can just click and go there quickly and easily. I can tell that I'm in the course and that I'm signed in as me and I can tell down the page that my teacher has given me an announcement welcome to the best class ever and she has also given me an assignment, Biology 1 Self-Introduction, and it gives you a little bit of description about the course, and it tells you when the course is due. So when we're looking at um, the course, we can go ahead and click on the assignment, and it's going to open up the assignment with the link out to the assignment. And you'll notice that the student's name is test student and it automatically added the student's name to the document. So you'll see um, Biology 1 self intro, the name of the file with your name added uh, to the end. Now there's several things I could do here. I could add a new file, I could create a new file, or I can actually go in and complete this assignment and then turn it in to my teacher. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Biology 1 self report. It's going to open it up in my Google Drive and it's going to put my name on the end of the assignments uh, file name and then it's going to ask me to fill out the form. So I'm going to go ahead and put my name, the due date. It's just something to get to know me and so it's going to ask me what is your favorite candy bar and I'm going to say Hershey's chocolate. And then I have several things I can do. If I'm finished with this document, all the changes are automatically saved and I can exit out and go back into it at any time to add more detail later. Or if I've got it completely finished exactly like I want it, I can use this uh, icon that is now added to the toolbar and I can turn it in to my teacher now that it's all complete. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it in to the teacher. And when I do, you're going to see that it says when you turn this in, you'll lose the ability to edit it any longer. So you can unsubmit the assignment to edit and add more detail and submit it again. But once I turn it into the teacher, I don't have editing rights on this document. I can also give my teacher a note here. Say, hope you like my work. And then when I'm ready and finished, I've got a note to the teacher if I want, and I've got the finished document with all of my work on it and I'm going to turn that in to my teacher. Once it's turned in, if I get ready to click on it again and edit it, it's going to tell me that um, it is a view only document and I won't be able to edit it and turn it into the teacher uh, any longer. So when I look back uh, to my home page I'm going to see that it says my assignment is done. If the teacher decides to give me some feedback and an opportunity to improve upon the document, then that will change and I'll be able to see that in there, but you'll be able to see that right from this screen. Now when I'm looking at the three-lined menu uh, or the hamburger menu for the classroom menu, I can click on that. If I were in multiple classes, I would see them appear here. And if I were to click on the assignments and I had several classes, I would see all the assignments that are due. But right now it says, woohoo, no assignments. And it shows that um, I don't have anything due. I can check on the, the finished assignments and I can see that it has been turned in. There's not a grade on it yet, but once the teacher grades it, I might see a grade up here or there as well. So back to the hamburger menu, back to Biology 1 and I'm right back in the course. When I'm looking at my Google Drive, 
one thing that I want you to see is that under Google Drive, it has added a classroom folder automatically for you. You'll want to be very careful not to delete that folder. That is where your assignments are stored, and that folder talks back and forth between Google Classroom. So be very careful not to delete the classroom folder, and you can see that it automatically set up a folder uh, for biology seventh period. We were in chemistry previously, so it keeps those files even though we're not in the chemistry online course right now. But be very careful when you're working with the classroom folder. So there you have um, biology uh, one online course in, in Google Classroom. And you'll be able to use and visit and work back and forth with your class. Thank you.